In this video, we will be discussing CEW smart use considerations. First, all officers must comply with the Fourth Amendment when using their Taser CEWs. It is up to your agency to set its own policies for the use of Taser CEWs, which may be more restrictive than the Fourth Amendment standard. Taser provides smart use considerations for the use of Taser CEWs, but it does not set the standard. The Fourth Amendment case setting forth the standard for CEWs is Graham v. Connor, which also controls all uses of force. Under that case, the court held officers must be objectively reasonable under the totality of the circumstances as reasonably perceived by the officer at the moment force is used. The court also set forth three critical factors that must be considered in determining whether the force is reasonable. First, the severity of the crime at issue. Second, whether the suspect poses an immediate threat to the safety of officers or others. And third, whether the subject is actively resisting arrest or attempting to evade arrest by flight. When reasonable, use the minimum force necessary to accomplish lawful objectives. Give a verbal warning before the use of force when possible. Give subjects a reasonable opportunity to comply before force is used or repeated, and immediately cease force once a subject is under control. Also, ensure the CEW use is within the law as correctly applied by legal standards of care and within policy and training set forth by the agency. Do not use the CEW for verbal defiance, belligerence, punishment, or horseplay. Be sure to follow the target targeting guidelines when feasible, avoiding the chest and splitting the belt line for close range shots. Use the five second window of opportunity to restrain and cuff under power. And be able to justify every CEW trigger pull or five seconds of discharge under the specific circumstances presented. Avoid repeated or continuous CEW exposures unless necessary to counter an immediate threat. Avoid using the CEW on vulnerable or higher risk populations unless necessary to counter an immediate threat. These would include small children, the elderly, or those who are obviously pregnant. Monitor the subject post CEW use. As with any use of force, if the subject becomes non-responsive, immediately initiate EMS or CPR protocols. Remember, each trigger pull must be legally justified. Use the shortest duration of CEW exposure necessary to accomplish lawful objectives. Reassess the subject's behavior before repeating or continuing the exposure and provide breaks in the CEW exposure when practicable. Several law enforcement agencies, such as IACP, PERF, COPS, or the Department of Justice, have established 15 seconds of CEW exposure as a significant safety point. 